What's up, gals and pals? It's your boy Vino Valentino, and welcome back to 60 Second Cocktails. Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm making something that was inspired by a video I saw recently on the Cocktail Chemist. Uh, he recently made a video where he made three different cocktails using strawberries. Now, one of the cocktails was a strawberry-infused Negroni. I thought that sounds absolutely amazing. Negroni is one of my favorite cocktails, and I absolutely love strawberries. And I always have strawberries in the house with my daughter. So I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and make that cocktail too. Now, after I got to infusing my strawberry, my, uh, my, my Campari there, I said, you know what? Why don't I make three different cocktails? I'm going to make three classic Campari cocktails, a Negroni, a Bavardier, and an Americano. All right, guys? So let's see how it goes. Hopefully, they all taste as delicious as I, as I imagine they will. All right? So make sure you stick around, and we're going to boogie down. All right, guys, so like I said, today I'm going to be making three different cocktails using the strawberry-infused Campari, okay, guys? It's gonna be three classic Campari cocktails, the Bavardier, the Negrone, and the Americano, right, guys? The first thing I'm gonna do is let you know uh, basically how I made this, right? So what I did was I took a cup of, of uh, Campari, I took about six strawberries, cut them up real nice, and uh, let it infuse in the uh, mason jar for about five to six days, just giving it a little shake once a day, all right, guys? So now I'm gonna open this bad boy up now and give it a smell. That smells amazing. It's almost very candy-like. You definitely, the strawberries are coming through pretty strong. I mean, obviously it's been infused for about six days, and uh, but you definitely get the Campari on the back of your, you know, the back of your nostril there, right guys? So now the first thing I wanna do is I want to uh, strain this into a, a, a container so I can start using it, right guys? So I'm gonna take the Campari bottle that I originally used to uh, put the Campari in there, right guys? So I'm going to go ahead now and give that bad boy a quick strain. All right, just wanna make sure we don't get like strawberry seeds and we don't get a, uh, Strawberry bits, we just want only strawberry infused Campari. All right, sweet. So it looks like it might have been uh, a little more than, a, more than a, a cup. I don't know, I, I, I'm pretty sure I used a cup. All right, six days ago, folks. I can't remember what I did yesterday at the time. All right, so there we go, folks. We have ourselves a nice bottle of strawberry infused Campari. All right, folks, let's see. Again, that smells absolutely fantastic. So let's go ahead and get ready to start making some cocktails. All right guys, so like I said, we're gonna start making some cocktails now, right guys? So the first thing I wanna do before I actually do that is I want to try the uh, strawberry infused Campari on its own. Let's see what it tastes like. Holy cow. That is, um, that's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. Hold on, I, I, I don't know, my mind's playing tricks on me over here. Oh my God, that is incredible. It's got like almost a candy flavor, but not because it's sweet, it's just because I think that the, the strawberries have been sitting there for a while. Um, so it has a really delicious strawberry component to it, but the bitterness of the Campari really still comes through at the end, but it's, it's, it, is, it is muted a bit more than obviously Campari on its own. I could drink this by itself, like a glass of this with some ice. This is fantastic. Um, yeah, hold it. Sorry, I'm like kind of mind blowing a little bit right here, okay guys? I can't wait to try this in, in the cocktail now, all right? So the first cocktail we're gonna make is a Negroni, all right guys? So the Negroni is very simple. It's actually, all these cocktails are very simple. So Negroni is one part gin, one ounce gin, one ounce sweet vermouth, and one ounce of our uh, infused Campari, all right guys? So let's go ahead and make this. Let's put some, put some ice in our, let's put some ice in our mixing glass, all right, guys? So we're gonna do, like I said, we're gonna do one ounce of, first let's do the Campari, as a matter of fact. Let's do one ounce of our strawberry infused Campari. All right, one ounce of gin, London Dry, and one ounce of sweet vermouth. All right, so we're gonna stir this up real nice-like, okay? We're gonna, and we're gonna serve it in an old-fashioned, all right? So you want to give that a good 20 seconds at minimum, you know, just to make sure that it gets up nice and diluted. My ice is a little wet, so it doesn't need to be shaken too much. It'll, it'll dilute and chill it pretty fast. All right, guys, so I think we're done with the uh, stirring of the cocktail. Let's put our ice cube inside the old fashioned here and let's pour this bad boy into the glass. All right. Beautiful, that's a pretty looking cocktail. That is quite pretty. 
All right, guys, so there goes our Negroni. We're gonna put that bad boy to the side. I just wanna try all the cocktails all side by side, all right, guys? So the next one we're gonna make is we're going to make a, um, a uh, Bavardier. Okay, so Bavardier is a very similar cocktail. Instead of gin, we're gonna be using bourbon, right? So one ounce of sweet vermouth, one ounce of Campari, and one ounce of bourbon, all right, guys? So I'm going to just make a quick dump. All right. Now I realized I said I'm gonna make a quick gump, quick dump. So uh, you know, feel free to make feel free to make some jokes about that. All right, guys. So let us go ahead and put some ice again in our mixing glass, and then we're gonna pour ourselves one ounce of the strawberry infused Campari, one ounce of sweet vermouth, and one ounce of bourbon. I will be using what's for reserve with for reserve. All right, beautiful. Now let's again stir this for about 20 seconds. All right guys, so we're done stirring that bad boy up. Let's put it into our old fashioned glass. All right. The ice cube is not in the bottom, so that's why it looks like it's less, but there we go, now it's all there. All right, guys, so there is our Bavardier, and I'm gonna go clean up again and get some ice for the uh, Americano, all right? All right, guys, so I got my ice for the uh, for the Americano, so you're just gonna make that right into a highball. That's gonna be uh, one ounce of our strawberry Campari, one ounce of sweet vermouth, then we're gonna top it off with some club soda, all right? So let's go ahead and put some ice in our highball. All right. There we go. All right, I'm not sure a little bit that's fitting in there. All right, there we go. All right, guys. So we got some ice in our highball, and now we're gonna go ahead and do our one ounce of strawberry infused Campari. One ounce of sweet vermouth. Top it off with some club. Here we go. And just give it, let's fill this bad boy all the way to the top. Now let's let me put some more ice. I'm gonna just put some more ice in there and we're gonna give it a little stir. All right, just to get it all nice and nice and mixed up. All right, and then to, to garnish all of these bad boys, I'm going to just take this massive strawberry I have here and just cut it into little thin slices to garnish it up real pretty like. All right guys, so now that I cleaned up my mess, I'm gonna do, uh, first one I'm gonna try is the classic Negroni. All right, let's give it a sniff, it smells fantastic. Now let's give it a sippy sip. That's really good. You know what's interesting is that I, the strawberry component is actually muted a bit by the gin. Um, I don't feel like I'm picking it up as much and it might be because gin already has kind of like those, you know, fruity herbal things going on in terms of the uh, the botanicals and stuff like that. So that could be it. I'm, I'm tasting it and, it and it's fantastic. And the Campari is not as as, uh, as strong as it normally is, but I don't feel like I'm getting the strawberry component with the same strength as I was when I chased it myself. Now I could be ruining it for myself by the, by the virtue of having sipped it by, you know, the Campari by itself. All right guys, anyway, so let's try out the Americano. Now that, it's so good. Strawberry is coming right through, and then the 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 the, um, the suds from the uh, club soda really kind of make it into much more vibrant strawberry flavor. Um, this is really good. I could do this. This is a great summer cocktail right here. That's freaking amazing. That is absolutely amazing. That's really really good. All right, guys, so let's try the Bavardier. This one I'm really interested in because of the bourbon. I wanna see how it holds up against the bourbon because it did not hold up well to me personally against the gin. Not that it, it, it tasted more like a, just a classic Negroni, which I absolutely love, but uh, the strawberry did not come through the way I hoped it would. Let's try the Bavardier. See, see now interestingly enough, it is coming through with the, with, the, with the bourbon. Now it could be because bourbon does have a sweet, some sweet flavor profiles by, by, uh, by itself, you know? So I think it does help to accentuate a little bit of the strawberry flavors. This is fantastic. I love Bovadiers. I It's completely underrated to me in terms of my own drinking habits. I don't know why I don't drink them more. 
Um, I guess I'm just so used to making Negroni cocktails when I make Campari cocktails. This is really freaking delicious. This is really good. Yeah, oh, I love it. All right, so here we go. This is the best one. This is super approachable, friendly. This would, anyone would drink this. This is a Negroni, which is my, which is again, one of my favorite cocktails. I love this. I would drink this probably still more than these, but this is probably the one that I think really combines the strawberry and the spirit flavors best together. So the Bavardier is definitely the way to go. They're all fantastic. They're all delicious. I will say the Negroni is not, let me, let me give it another sip. Let me give it another sip. Yeah, again, it's, the, the strawberry doesn't come through the way I thought it would. Uh, these, these definitely come through a lot more, um, but they're all delicious. So definitely try it out. Listen, if you got a little Campari, put a half a cup, you know, four, four or five strawberries, leave it there for a week, give it a shake every day, and give it a shot. Infusing is one of the fun things you could do in the cocktail world. Um, it's super easy to do, and uh, you know, if you got fruit lying around or something like that, just throw it in a bottle, throw it in a mason jar, and make it happen, right guys? Anyway, so listen, so I hope you guys try this out. I think you would absolutely love it. Shout out to the cocktail chemist uh, for such a great idea, um, and uh, I look forward to uh, so see what you guys think in the comment section, right? So remember, if you like this video, please press like, please share with your family and friends, please subscribe, and uh, remember folks, when life gives you lemons, make yourself a cocktail. Cheers.